Hi guys, it's absolutely gorgeous today. It's Sunday, March 6th, right honey? 6th or 7th, I believe it is the 6th. 2016, we're on the way to Walmart. I'm going to get my hair colored again. <laughs> uh, Clay likes that bleach blonde, and I like it actually, that color. My son likes it that color, so it's kind of a family thing that if I don't have my hair a certain color, my they my son really gets on me as well as clay which i, I well my son does my son has a fat because he feels like i'm not mom i prefer you as a blonde that's what i met you as so. well my son it's, it's just kind of a thing with my son it's just kind of a thing that we have between the two of us he's like you know mom you know <laughs> but anyway we're i want to show you what i'm working on and um, i'm actually going to do a sample and show you guys how to make this this is my garden blanket now, I wanted to talk to you about this. I don't know if you guys have ever bought one of these cotton skeins of yarn. Um, Clay did the math for me, and what did you say? You think this is worth about a few, like probably double or triple? If of... you're buying six of the small ones, one of those, and the small ones are a buck seventy-seven, and they're like six to seven dollars a piece, so you're you're better off with the big one than as far as yard-wise. So, so I wanted to see how much I could get off one of these. So yeah, I may have to buy another one. I'm not sure, but I'm making the garden blanket and I'm going to make it look real pretty. It's a zigzag and, um, you know, for the back of our chairs. And this is made out of cotton. And I want to encourage you guys to try using different material besides just regular yarn to crochet with because there's all kinds of projects that fit different things and this is a little bit more spongy and I think in the summer it might feel a little bit better than a warmer type blanket. Look at the pretty clouds up there guys. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I like to do is I like to have what I call and Clay calls like I like to travel travel hobbies. The travel hobbies. So what I do is I like to have a little bag and anytime I have to wait like wasted time so to speak during the day not you know that I get bored easy because I like to work I enjoy working I think that's just my way some people you know you got to do what's best for you but I like to have a little something I take with me so when I'm traveling I work on it if I'm waiting in a waiting room or waiting at an auction I used to um, work for the bus company years ago and I used to read books back and forth every day because I'd be on the bus for an hour to get to work and come home. And then when you're done, you have something beautiful that's yours that you may have worked on just when you were traveling. Um, I just have a bag. I have my, my needles and I, you know, whatever project I'm working on. And... Um, just always have them the wherever I'm waiting or like where are some other spots clay well your your kids are on the playground and you're sitting on the bench instead of reading a book and not paying attention to what the kids are doing you can crochet and pay attention to what the kids are doing um, go to the ball game the family goes to the ball. your your kids are playing sports and you're in the bleachers enjoy the game and and work on your hobby you, it could be embroidering it could be a dog coloring box whatever you that's easy to pack up whatever your hobby is yeah it could be little scrapbooking if, projects if any of you ever went to the dentist office or a doctor's office they tell you you've got a nine o'clock appointment how many of you sat there till ten o'clock bring your travel hobby with you so, so usually for us most well, when we get once we get out of town, it's like a 30-minute drive or more each direction we're going. So I just bring my little stuff. Where if I'm sitting outside and I want to enjoy the day, just bring my little hobby. You want to sit on the front porch and just enjoy a, a nice spring morning with a cup of coffee and your your hobby. Just sit out there, have a cup of coffee and crochet, and maybe for an hour, hour and a half or two, and then you're ready to start your day. I heard this, I think Noreen's Kitchen said this, and I really like this. Um, she said one time that she likes to work on her hobby every single day. And I think that's nice that even if you work on something for five minutes a day, I think that's a nice thing to do, don't you? Mm -hmm. So those are, that's um, 
that's something that I like to do is I like to, you know, I heard her say that and I thought that's a great idea. I mean, I like to work on things all the time, but I thought even if I take five minutes a day and work on my hobby, I feel really good about myself and life. And there's something about creating, I think, that really comes into our hearts. I don't know what it is. Maybe we're just made to create beautiful things, but, you know, it, it can be anything. You could be a man and maybe there's something little that's not, you know, embarrassing, so to speak, when you're in a waiting room that, you know, maybe you like to write stories. Maybe you like to read books. Maybe you like to play Sudoku. Yes, Clay likes to bring Sudoku with them. You know, something that's like your little hobby that you can just have in a little spot, maybe. And if, it makes your weight a little more sweet. Right, because then you, you, you almost look forward. Because nobody likes to set at a 9 o'clock appointment till 10, 10.30 before you get in to see the doctor. So, hey, give yourself something to do. I look forward to my waiting times because that means that I get to do what little craft or item that I've picked out that I want to work on. So I'm like, ooh, there's my crocheting time. and Or maybe it's a specific uh, project. And this is especially good if you have people. And but if, if you stop and think about it, if, um, like with us, any travel to go shopping of any sort is usually a half hour drive so you times that by two up and back you've got an hour that hour she could put into her blanket or her hobby and within three or four trips to the store even with her just riding on the passenger side her project will be complete and not only that but think and she isn't wasting her her time just looking at the the scene the scenery she's seen every day that she's went shopping she can concentrate on her her blanket well the other thing too is think about your children it's a good habit to instill in your children because maybe they're you know maybe they get restless in the car and stuff i mean you gotta think practical things that they like to do um my one nephew and actually pray for him today he broke his ribs billy patty sent me a text he broke his ribs, so keep him in prayer. He's in a lot of pain. Um, but they, uh, if you take and give your kids, like we used to give Billy a busy box of crayons and stuff that he liked to do because some kids like toys, and this kid was an artist. He liked to do all kinds of artsy stuff. He ended up being a contractor and stuff like that. So, when, but when I remember when he was little, my mom said, make this kid, you know, I think he'd like a busy box more than anything. And so they gave him crayons and pens and pencils and drawing stuff. And, you know, those are the kind of things that, you know, you can figure out what you want to travel with or have for your kids when they have to wait. Maybe they have to wait for dinner. Maybe they have to wait for mom to do something. That Maybe dad's got the car in the in the shop working on tires or something and you've got to sit in the waiting room. And this is also good for people like me that, and maybe I'll, share this that clay and i decided to just have one car and mainly because when i came out here there wasn't any really great high paying jobs or anything and so we figured out that we could actually and this goes out to i've seen these people get devastated after they lost their job if there was like one person you could actually almost live better if you learn to do different things and so because clay's the only driver now i don't usually drive a lot of places because i'm usually with clay or working during the day that I always have things, I mean, I even set up my spot in the car because I'm older and I don't have a bunch of babies that, you know, my little area of where my stuff is. But I guess I share that to say that uh, it can go for our senior citizens who have to wait. Like, I got into crocheting big time when Clay got sick last year. Remember that? Which is also really when I got back into YouTube big because I've been on social media for a long time, but I during that time when Clay was at his weakest, I just really felt like, let's bump up that YouTube. You know, right around that time is when I felt like, hey, let's move up the YouTube, which I don't know how some of you feel about this, but my daddy used to teach me that when you're laying in bed and trying to sleep, that's a good time to pray. So I always feel like if I can't go to sleep, that's the time I pray. But some of you may be crocheting and, oops, you may be praying and doing other things, you know, in your head, which makes it a double good thing too because you kind of have 
nice thoughts or, or maybe um, another thing I like to do is I watch comedy movies, funny comedy movies when I crochet or do my hobby, you know, so it's, you know, if you're under stress, like I said, Clay was really sick during that time and I would just crochet and that kind of helped with, uh, you know, being creative too, but I just want to encourage you guys to get a little hobby, to like a travel hobby and take it with you. You know, use those little hobbies. Do it once a day. Enjoy it. Something that's, that's portable. Right here. And now we're in the, what, historic village, village of Port Byron. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. And uh, have a blessed day. And look how beautiful. What's the temperature going to be today, dear? About 60, they were saying. 60 degrees, March 6, 2000. Right now it's only 32, but. 2016. Okay, guys. God bless. Have a beautiful day. We'll see you in the next video.